a land of two seas. Bahrain has been at the heart of international trade for the past 5,000 years. An economy built on the foundations of Paris and palm tree farmers. Where traders and merchants have passed through over the millennia and generations. This small island situated in the Arabian Gulf, rich in history, culture and trade. I am born. In February 1916, our branch manager of Eastern Bank in Iraq, Mr. Graham Alistair Cox, wrote to the political agent in Bahrain requesting him to open a branch in Bahrain for Eastern Bank. So the political agent being in communicating with the British Foreign Office in UK for almost one year. And they have finally given him the precondition approval for that to go ahead. And they have advised one of our UK branch uh, to have a visit to Bahrain and visit the ruler at that time, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali, to uh, visit him and explain to him the benefit of having a branch in Bahrain. In 1920, the first branch manager arrived from UK to Bahrain to arrange for opening a bank in Bahrain and has started his administration by way of renting a house in Manama owned by Mr. Abdurrahman al Gusebi, and they have started the bank and the operation in that house in July 1920. Radio Bahrain News at 12 midday, Bob McCready reporting. His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Isa bin Salman al Khalifa, was at Mina Salman this morning to welcome Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom, who arrived in Bahrain on a three day state visit. <laughs> بريطانيا والبحرين بمرور 200 عام على العلاقات البحرينية البريطانية ولا بدنا لنا في هذه المناسبة أن نذكر دور تشارلز بليغريف مستشار حكومة البحرين الذي استدعاه صاحب العظمة الشيخ حمد بن عيسى حاكم البحرين آنذاك في عشرينات القرن الماضي بالتحديد في 1925 السنة التي يقال عنها سنة الطبعة جاء تشارلز بليغريف إلى البحرين وأصبح له كثير من اللمسات الحضارية التي نشاهد أثارها إلى اليوم مع هذه المناسبة نحتفل أيضا بمرور مئة سنة على تأسيس أول بنك البنك الشرقي هذا البنك العريق الذي كانت فكرة إنشائه كأول بنك في البحرين For almost 10 years we've been operating the Abrahman al Then in 1929 the operation has become bigger and bigger and we thought we should have our own building then we have searched everywhere and we thought that the government road is the most important road because most of the merchants and the peril divers and peril merchants were surrounding this area and dealing in this uh, in Manama. So accordingly we have found the place where we are now and we are in this place uh, since more than 86. The, the Bahrain community have always been leading the development in this part of the world. For a number of reasons, definitely oil was an area, but the most important is education. Education for, for boys started in 1919 and for girls started in 1928. So we have built that modern, open-minded, highly educated community within, within the country. That have helped us, to, have led us really to reach where we are today, in terms of openness, in terms of finding the right people. And having the highly educated, well-trained Bahrainis have definitely had a major role in building this, the country, the corporate business in the country. The, the, uh, the Bahrainis used to, used to work in, in various uh, businesses, and banking was the most exciting business for them. So I would say that education played a major role. The mindset of the leadership then and now have played a major role. And the mindset of the, of the Bahraini people. 1930, 
There were a lot of development in Bahrain and there was actually the discovery of oil in 1932 when the business started booming and all. Plus the merchants, for an example, started uh, importing some unusual goods and products in Bahrain. Most of the major merchants in Bahrain, they have dealt with us. So for the first 25 years or 37 years, we were the only bank and we were considered as a central bank for Bahrain. Most of the government transaction, government accounts, the departments of the governments, they used to bank with us. Even the leaders of the country, they used to uh, visit us regularly to inspect their funds with the bank. July 1956, I joined the Eastern Bank. The, the, the Eastern Bank was changed after a few years to the Charter Bank. Sir Charles Belgrave, he was the advisor to the government of Bahrain. Sir Charles Belgrave has been in Bahrain for 30 years. This is the garden of this house. Sir Charles, what exactly is the job that you do here? I'm employed by the Sheikh as his advisor. And... I remember he wrote us in the bank and said that we have 200 two lakhs and 50,000, which is 250,000 rup uh, rupees. We want to deposit it at the bank. Give us a rate. So we wrote, we wrote him back and we said, we can give you 2% annual uh, interest uh, for, for your money. After a week or, or a little more, he wrote us back and he said, Sheikh Salman, the ruler of Bahrain uh, says that this is haram, not good in Islam. We don't want the interest. Just keep the money with you. And the branch was opened by the late Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa. He was almost the governor of Muharraq and the uncle of Sheikh Isa the Amir. For a year I was in Muharraq. And then I went back to Manama as an advisor, as an advisor, commercial advisor. I was posted to Bahrain in October 1965. And one of the reasons I was assigned the position of overseeing the currency change from Gulf rupees to Bahrain dinars was the fact that I had had a lot of experience in cashiering and dealing with cash during my time with the Midland Bank. The Charter Bank renewed their uh, head office in London and they invited the Queen to open. I was invited there. I dressed my bisht, the Arabic dress, the only one, and they were important people there. And then every time she came through Bahrain, we go and see her in the airport. Because our uh, manager, his habit was that every time anybody important in the airport and Sheikh Isi go there, I go with him to the airport to see them. So we were uh, very joyful with Sheikh, with Sheikh Isi. Anytime, anywhere he goes, we are with him. The decision taken by the government of Bahrain in 1972-73 to bring the banking hub from Lebanon to Bahrain was the wisest decision then. And that have helped us really to change our focus from oil and gas, normal businesses into services. And the banking sector since then until today started to represent a major contribution to our GDP. Today, as an example, it represents between 20-22% of the GDP. Whatever competition we have in the region, always Bahrain comes as number one in leading the financial sector. Having those banks in Bahrain have really created lots of opportunities and jobs for Bahrainis. The Standard Chartered came in and invested in Bahrain and established something that, that the whole community then did not know, banking. I can recall really just out of my mind, 
few years ago, Gulf Air had faced major problem in financing, and thanks to Standard Charter Bank, they came in and they gave them that fund that they required. I think it was $75 million. That sort of commitment Standard Charter had over the years, I think, gave it the credibility in the community. And it is very gratifying to see now not only Bahraini men in senior positions in Bahrain banking, but also Bahraini ladies in senior positions, not only in the banking sector, but in every sector. Because it is very important that uh, the performance and work of Bahraini ladies throughout Bahrain is fully appreciated by the public. Our 100-year history is intertwined with the history of the Kingdom, with significant contributions to economic development, to the development of the financial and banking sector, as well as to the development of the many Bahraini businesses. We are reminded daily uh, of our privileged positions through the team of wonderful Bahrainis who work with exceptional passion and dedication, as well as our clients who continuously uh, claim that Standard Chartered is their bank. And finally, our communities who continuously are grateful for the many contributions that the bank has made over the years. Today was the inauguration of Low Vision Rehabilitation Clinic. This clinic is supported by uh, Standard Chartered Bank through their global initiative, Seeing is Believing. Uh, this clinic in, uh, done uh, in, in collaboration with the uh, Ministry of Health and Prevention of Blindness Union. Uh, this clinic was a dream when we sat together and put it as a, as a project, but now it's become fact. Uh, it will help us a lot. So thanks to Standard Chartered Bank for this donation. From the Eastern Bank in 1920, to Standard Chartered today, our commitment to supporting Bahrain's development continues to grow.